Today I am behind Wamu Theater. It's a Central League field in Seattle, right next to the Mariners field. And um, today, if you look to our left here, we will see a tour bus. And that is the Seven Lions tour bus, as you can see by the logo on the side. Anyways, they are renting a pair of CDJs from me and a DJM 900 for their next two months of their show. And I'm actually going to be doing lights for their whole show, uh, for the openers at least. They have their own LD for Seven Lines himself, but they needed someone to do the Matzo DNB set lights. So how could I possibly pass up doing lights for a Matzo DNB set? Not gonna happen. I've done lights for Matt like three times now. I'm so glad he doesn't have a touring LD. It lets me have a whole bunch of fun with songs that I really love and have a lot of memories with. So I just dropped off the CDJs for the tour. They're gonna be leaving for two months. I bought a brand new pair of CDJs just so I could rent them out to these guys. And uh, so I'm gonna split up to Q because we have boys noise tonight, which you'll also see later in this video. And it's gonna be a totally jam-packed video. I hope you enjoy it. So this is a little DJ rig that's gonna be going out on tour with them. And I just kinda wanna show you my methodology for sending these things on long tours. Cause these are gonna be gone for two whole months and I need to make sure they all get back in decent condition. So I make sure they all have a full set of cables, um, you know, RCAs, digital power, uh, link cable, all that stuff. Um, and then make sure they also have a switch. And then yeah, I just uh, send them in like brand new cases. So I just bought those cases in those CDJs, they're all brand new. And I just pretty much take a little sheet here and write down all of the serial numbers for it so that they make sure they get the right ones back to me. All right, so finished everything up um, for the beginning part of the day over at Walmart Theater. I gotta head back over to uh, Q nightclub and get everything set up for boys noise. I need four CDJs and one of my Nexus 2s. So we're gonna go over do that and then uh, do a little pre-programming on the laptop hopefully for this show. Bye bye tour bus, see you in a few hours. I also like how they gave me uh, wristbands for VIP Lucky uh, from last year. Nexus 2. So this is how you do the noise vinyl break. So enable your noise, put it on a channel. Enable vinyl break. So you enable vinyl break and then every time you re-trigger vinyl break. Then you can do cheeky stuff like this too. Got all the gear set up for Boys Noise. I just sound checked it. Four CDJ, 2000 Nexuses. One at DJM 900 Nexus 2. I'm glad that this is actually finally getting rented out because I was worried that it would take a lot longer for people to start putting them on the riders, but it hasn't. So, making my money back on it already. It's three, a little after three o'clock, so that means I have two hours to prep this show file and get it ready to take over to the WAMU. And uh, hopefully I don't have to do much on site besides positions. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull up the patch that I just got emailed to me over here and edit it over here. And then start doing some basic programming, make sure everything looks all right. Maybe make some layout views. Seattle is usually very, very rainy, or at least rainier than usual, it just drizzles all the time, but it's never this windy. It's like 50 mile an hour winds out here. So good thing the show is indoors today, right?
fucking excited. I can't stop saying fucking because it's gonna be a D&B set, which he never does. So this is gonna be fucking sick. I'm so happy I'm here. To the club. Come on. Can't let a gate slow me down getting to boys' noise. 